Hello, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video today, I would like to update a video that I made a long time ago which has the most view in my channel. So I'm gonna give you guys a few tips and tricks for beginner of how to play Honkai Impact 3 in a great way. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get started. Um, going on to the first tip that I'm about to give you is that enjoy the game. Because the game are meant for enjoy right it meant for you to have fun to have some uh, a relaxing time and uh, so when you first play into the game there's many things to look at but just don't worry about it just take it easy let the game guide you um, just play the storyline enjoy some content some CG and uh, get to know all of this amazing character all of those amazing well-written character and then after that you can uh, try to explore the other part of the game so um, yeah just enjoy the game have fun play the storyline and after a while when you reach a certain level when you uh, know some mechanics in the game right then you may start to look at the equipment and look at the character so um, yeah uh, when you're first playing to the game right and um, there's you may have this item because uh, the developer gives this item uh, give uh, um, a great amount of this item to new player for them to catch up uh, to the veteran player so what exactly can you use with this item well the thing is you can go to the supply section is where you do the gacha right and uh, when you do the gacha you get the uh, weapon and you get the character so uh, you can spend those tickets in these dorm supplies and so what what is this dorm supply does is that uh, ev every time you reach a certain amount of pool it will guarantee you an S rank or an A rank an A rank is uh, guarantee every 10 pool but an S rank is guaranteed in a certain amount of number in new case it could be 25 pools for you to get an S rank Valkyrie but after that it's uh, 100 pools every time until you and will uh, certainly get an S rank Valkyries but who knows you might get lucky and you may get more than that so yeah this is where you spend those tickets uh, I only recommended you to only spend tickets here because there is no need for you to spend crystal in the dorm supplies if um, you already have the character that you design maybe if you don't have uh, your, the character that you design but you already have an S rank Valkyrie drop in this dorm supply already then I suggest that you hold on to this crystal because crystal is really hard to farm for new players but it get much more easier in the later game but we'll get to that eventually anyway but yeah after you get your S rank Valkyries uh, in, the, in the dorm supply just leave it only pull the dorm supply if you have spare some tickets so um I also do not recommend you to pull in the dorm equipment supply because even though it's much more cheaper in the focus supply the chance of you to get the item that you want is really scarce I mean l just look at over here there's so many items and who knows what you may get and you may get a uh, trash stigmata which by the way not gonna lie there's many trash stigmata over here and it's really not worth it and instead you can maybe focus on the um, focus supply which has a uh, feature rate up uh, equipment stigmata and weapon right and you can easily get the the weapon and the stigmata that you desire speaking about the rate up there's also an expansion banner which uh, you can check up the news on the website and everywhere in the social media relate in the Honkai Impact 3 so that you can predict the upcoming banner and you can prepare your hard-earned resource for the character that you want so yeah uh, in conclusion only spend tickets in the dorm supply until you get the S rank one of the S rank Valkyries and uh, after that spend all of the resource on the expansion supply and the focus supply uh, I would recommend you to get the character first before you get their equipment because um, there's many other uh, free-to-play option for the uh, character you don't exactly need to use those uh, weapon um, to uh, have the character uh, function in the in many environment of game in many environment of game um, you can 
you can also use the free to play option up there so don't worry about it just make sure to get the the, the character first before you get the weapon because uh, for example there's four stuff over here so you need to pull four stuff but there's only one character so you so just compare it four versus one definitely character is more worth to pull than weapon so if you got the character then you may focus on the weapon right uh, anyway speaking of character there's also a site over here where I think it's called wishing well you can try out those wishing well uh, invest some crystal over here and the game will give you an egg and what you do is that you open those egg and you and you will got the option to choose one of those S rank amazing S rank Valkyries and um, based on the preference uh, many players choose Phoenix over many other character I'm not gonna lie Phoenix is a great character she can support uh, she's great for support she also uh, disrupts a good amount of DPS so yeah maybe you should considering uh, choosing her uh, so um, about the tips for you to pull in the character banner most players uh, try the one-time supply so they pull one by one until they get the character because um, it's reduced uh, the uh, uh, amount of uh, crystal that you, you can uh, waste in this character banner because um, you only need to have one character right so you pull one by one until you get the character so you may uh, save up some crystal so it's a good tips for you to remember but on the focus supply on the other hand um, maybe you should definitely try the 10 times pull because there's a chance that you may may get two of the feature rate up equipment right so yeah uh, pull one by one in the expansion supply and pull uh, 10 times in the uh, uh, weapon uh, focus banner supply yeah so after we are done talking about the character the weapon and stuff like that let's talk about the other stuff so the game uh, have two types of like character right uh, there's a uh, normal character and there's their augmentation and there's also their awakening so um, uh, you, uh, we can just uh, put the awakening aside um, just now right and let's talk about the augmentation so the augmentation is really important in the game it's because it's completely free to play and you can farm this uh, using your free to play currency which is asteroid and um, basically you can just go to the shop and then you can go to the Astar shop over here yeah over here and you can just scroll to the augmentation core and you can just bought those material along with this one and rank up your augmentation core Valkyrie um, the thing about augmentation is that they basically fix everything which relate to the Valkyrie and it's just like the an entirely new battle suit which really benefits you so there's a character which is really OP with the augmentation on with Valkyrie Asimeter. She works great in end game content as well as in early content. She is a great character. You definitely should invest uh, on this character augmentation core. So she's a good character to remember. And there's other, also other uh, amazing free to play uh, Valkyrie as well. For example, you could have Nice Scroll, amazing physical damage dealer, and you also have um, Starlit Astrologot which is an uh, awesome support and you can you don't have to exactly switch on the field she works well so um, yeah uh, I give I just like to give you guys a few example but you can you can also uh, watch this stuff in in, in other uh, YouTube channel right so just just putting it aside right so on the final tips that I'm about to talk to you guys is that uh, how in the hell you gonna um, build up your amount of crystal build up your amount of resource for you to just um just rank up your character just get the character that you desire so the key answer to this uh, uh question is patient patient gets reward you need to have bit resistance you need to have plans write out the plans and you need to have your targets so in order to achieve those targets you need to be patient like if you want 
to have those amazing characters like this Herschel of Thunder over here which is a top tier waifu in the game and she is very strong you need to have a target in your mind like uh, get Herschel of Thunder and in order to do so you need to have at least like for example 30,000 crystal and some coins as well as some uh, uh, materials to rank up her equipment yeah so I think that's the end of the video that's all I can talk about for now um, thank you for watching if you have any question just uh, write down in the comment below I'll be sure to answer all of them and yeah peace